Hey everybody, Brooklyn in the house. Back at you to do a read for the sign of Aries. So Aries a cross watcher. Whoever I'm talking to, wherever you have this planetary placement, claim it if it resonates. If it doesn't resonate, no force fitting, okay? Sharing is caring. Also, whoever you are, wherever you are on this whole entire planet, shout out to you. We see you, we acknowledge you, we are very grateful for your presence. So thank you for taking the time out of your day to join us. And whether or not anybody else has told you this, Delilah, Tiberius, and I love you. Now let's hit this. Clear and ground for Aries. Thank you. As above, so below. There is no beginning, there is no end. It is with an attitude of gratitude that I would humbly like to thank Source, the Archangels, Ascended Masters, Spirit, and my ancestors for overseeing this act of divination. Spirit, please help me to relay clear and concise messages for the higher good of the collective of Aries. Aries, it's my job to read and channel you this energy. It's your job to apply it in your life for your higher good and from your higher self and only if it applies. I'll call out the most predominant signs that show their faces, but anybody can be resonating in any one of their planets at any time. So let's just work with the energy here, okay? Because that's what we're doing. Show me the energy. Let's see how we can help you, Aries. Our gods and goddesses of war, firstborn of the zodiac, natural born leaders. Show them how it's freaking done, Aries. How about that? Jimmy. All right, let's go. Here we go, Aries. You are in the energy of leadership, taking control, gaining momentum, having foresight, and moving ahead. All right. This is, yeah, the three of wands, waiting for your ships to come in. But I don't even think you need a ship because you got your own freaking surfboard over here. But speaking of which, somebody might like surf, surfing. Somebody might have dreadlocks. Let's see. Somebody might like surfing like either at dawn or at dusk. I'm hearing dawn and dusk. Okay. From dusk till dawn. That's what I'm hearing. From dusk till dawn. Show me. I don't know what that means, but maybe it means something for one of you. Here we go. Got a nice nine of pentacles that just turned. Something's about to move rapidly forward in your life, okay? Ooh, look at this. Looks like it's going to be love. Okay, so eight of wands, rapid forward movement. Whatever that is for you, Aries, it's going to be something different for everybody. So, you know, this could be travel. This could be correspondence. It could be anything, all right? You have lovers here. Gemini energy for a soulmate contract, some kind of contract. You guys are kindred spirits. And that's it. Some of you may have Gemini in your chart. You could be dealing with somebody that does. You two might be a little different. Maybe ethnicity, culturally, age-wise. Whoop, there it goes. I'm going to start channeling. But whatever it is, it doesn't matter because you're just the same underneath. Like, again, I'm seeing dreadlocks. Somebody's got some serious dreadlocks. Maybe with beads on them. They're really nice, by the way. All right, so let's see. Somebody's got a tattoo on their upper right shoulder. Okay, show me. Here we go. Look, Nine of Cups, emotional fulfillment, a wish coming true, success. Now, crowning you, you got a four of pentacles. Save your money. Don't overspend. Somebody could be holding back. It could be anything, finances, material goods, words, thoughts, feelings, you know, whatever it is here. Uh, you know that's my card of constipation, right? So there goes the nose. Some of you, again with the dreadlocks, somebody might like to wear like a goldish scarf around their head. Somebody's got their nose pierced. Somebody likes to wear a lot of bracelets. Somebody lives in a little village of some sort, okay? I'm also seeing a marble a marble gate or fence. So what is that? What kind of marble fence? All right. So you might have like a property with a marble fence around it. You have a wish coming true, hope for your future, healing and a gift from the divine. Beauty and inspiration. Aquarius energy. Some of you might be dealing with an Aquarius. Okay? There could be a lot of competition. A lot of aggravation. This is conflict. This is disagreements. Tension. Arguments. Aggression. Yeah. You got Leo energy here. You got Leo, Gemini, and Aquarius. Show me. Aries. Aries. Show me the middle of the spread. What's in the center of the spread? For Aries, in the center of the spread, there's loss, sadness, regret, heartache. Cry me a river, Justin Timberlake card, right? Some kind of disappointment, some kind of discontentment. Some of you could be in mourning. I'm seeing hard-boiled eggs. Somebody's, bo I'm seeing hard-boiled eggs. Is somebody boiling like hard-boiled eggs? Okay, well, there's that. Good, good source of protein, right? Some of you have some kind of direct, okay, okay. Five, 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 direct cord to source. 555 is your frequency healing sound bath. This is healing any past trauma, Aries. It's a connection to the fifth dimension. All right, so you do have regret in the center of your spread. 
You could have a lover here that's regretful. Maybe you are. Maybe they put you in too much competition. I don't know. You got an ace of pentacles in reverse. Some kind of missed opportunity here. This is a missed chance. This is some kind of bad investment. Maybe some of you made one. Maybe, you know, this is like the current energy. That's the past. This is the current. Um, the Ace of Pentacles, though, we are talking about um, maybe a lack of planning, a missed opportunity, a bad investment. I'm hearing, you got the whole world in your hands. You got the whole wide world in your hands. I don't know what that is. All right, show me. Somebody feels like they got the world in their hands, but or maybe they, I don't know. I don't know. Let's, let's finish here. Here, here you go. Two of Pentacles in reverse. So somebody, somebody's really off balance here. The Two of Pentacles in reverse is talking about chaos, imbalance, overwhelmed, overcommitted. You know, just completely off your kilter. Completely off your kilter. What the hell is that? All right, let's go. <laughs> I don't know. Madonna me. Let's just do this. You got Aquarius and Gemini is the most predominant so far in Leo, okay? Down here, what's coming in that we don't see? Aries. All right, Aries. Some, you're walk, somebody's walking away from something here. I feel like this is you walking away from all this this drama and this competition. And maybe that's why you're regretful. But you got healing, happiness, and hope for your future. So you're walking away towards that. Eight of Cups. Departing. Anything that came in those eight practice cups that I like to call them was very unfulfilling. So now you know what you want. You're going to find your ninth and tenth cup. That's it. And the sun is rising. Again, I'm hearing dust till dawn. Dusk till dawn. So something about dawn, the sun is coming up. I'm hearing, don't let the sun go down on me. What the hell? It's on something else I see. Uh, Who's that? Somebody will know out there. Okay, put it in the comments. Thank you. <laughs> something about don't let the sun go down on you. You're not letting the sun go down on yourself, Aries. That's what's happening here. Because you have some kind of hope for your future and beauty and inspiration. And that's why you're taking the lead and moving ahead. You see how this is going? Walking away. Some of you are directly connected with Source. You have something going on, some kind of gift, some kind of hope for your future, and you're headed towards it. All right? It's about to move really fast. It could be something competitive, but you don't care, Aries, right? Nah, why would you care? Look at this. You don't have to care. You're the leaders. You mean, follow the leader. Follow the leader. Show me. Show me Aries, Aries, Aries. <laughs> Aries, I love you guys. You should only know. Give me. Come on. Oh, Jesus, Mary and Joseph. We're not taking all those. You know that, right, Aries? I know you know that. So I just want to make it clear to you that when cards come out in reverse around here, they, that's the way spirit wants them. Because you see how we operate? All our cards are in the upright. Show me. Show me what's coming in for Aries here. They're walking away from something, okay? Some kind of bullshit, some kind of betrayal. This is why you're walking away, because somebody's fugazi. Somebody's up to no good. Somebody's nefarious. Somebody's a liar, cheater, deceptive. Some kind of sneakiness, some kind of scheming. Somebody's trying to rob somebody. Somebody likes to carry some kind of knife. Black feathers could be of significance. Somebody's skulking around at night trying to do something here. Um, now, you got a four of wands in reverse here. This is about some kind of home conflict, conflict, feeling unwelcome, a lack of support or transition. And I feel like some of this is also Aries energy. Are sneakily trying to walk away. Just walk away, Renee. Some of you are, you know, under the cover, trying to get away, walk away from some kind of domestic situation or family situation or something that's very unfulfilling. Again, I'm seeing dreadlocks. So somebody's got some dreadlocks. I don't care if they're blonde, brown, or what. All right? So, yeah, there's that. Now, let's see. So somebody somebody betrayed somebody here, and that's why somebody decided to walk away, and, you know, because they are not happy. This is unhappiness, the four ones in reverse, just so you know, all right? Maybe at home, some, like, your family's not supporting you, or they just, yeah. Well, you can't help who your relatives are, right, Aries? I mean, that's all I got to tell you. That's how it is, you know? Yeah. Somebody's giving you resistance, Aries, or they're being unsupportive. Thank them. They're making you stronger, right? I'm hearing that, 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 that don't kill you. It could only make you stronger. Yeah. What is that, Kanye? I need you to hurry up now. because I. So, you know, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. What does it? Now I'm hearing Kelly Clark Clarkson. Somebody could be named Kelly Clark Clarkson. I don't know. Clark Kent. Yeah. 
What doesn't kill you makes you stronger, stronger. <laughs> this is why. I'm sorry to be singing to you, Aries. That nobody needs that, right? Show me. Show me, show me, show me. Come on, let's do this tonight. Let's get this over with. I'm melting over here. Give me. Show me. Somebody could be watching somebody here. Look at this. Somebody's watching somebody walk away. Look at this. Get over a painful ending. So I don't know who that is for you. Maybe these people that caused all this strife. I'm hearing strife. All right, come on, give it to me. Here, this one. Now, well, look at this. You got a King of Cups. Nice. So, you know, this King of Cups is love. That's what this is. This is somebody emotionally balanced and mature. They're very devoted. They're very kind. They're very caring. They're very empathetic. They're very, this person can be very spiritual. Somebody likes singing bowls, singing big fat goldfish. Somebody could have white hair and a beard. Somebody likes to go sailing. I mean, sailing, take me away to where I always heard it could bowl. Oh, well, that's got to be the lover. I want to be your lover, lover. Okay, so Billy, something about the ocean, right? I said that. Here we go. Sailboats, ocean, starfish, goldfish. One fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish. What the hell? What the hell, Aries? Oh, man. All right, here we go. So you have, yeah, well, listen, this is going to cause somebody some pain. But we do have a king of pentacles here. So we like that. Now, this could be the same person, right? This king of pentacles and this king of cups. This comes out a lot in your readings, Aries. So this could be somebody who's very financially stable and hardworking, grounded, Routine-oriented, goal-oriented. This could be you concentrating on becoming the king of pentacles, right? Virgo, Capricorn, or Taurus energy, whether you have it in your chart or not, male or female. Somebody could have a German Shepherd or a Husky. This person could also wear their heart on their sleeve and be very loving, kind, and caring, okay? Now, you do have a Nine of Swords. Somebody's really worried here. Somebody's up in their head full of anxiety, not sleeping, stressed out, post-traumatic stress disorder, mental illness, and talking to ghosts or spirits, all right? Somebody just is doing a lot of crying. Somebody's not brushing their hair or their teeth and their back of their hair looks like a freaking rat's nest. Look, it looks like a sheep's ass. Look at this hair. Will somebody please stick their, take a comb to that head. What are you doing? All right. Yeah, this is a lot of sadness. And we're gonna get, somebody's going to be left out in the cold here. Now, this is what I got to tell for another group of you. If this is two separate people, the king of cups and the king of pentacles, you got a water sign and an earth sign. Somebody's got to go, okay? This is loss, sadness, regret. This is Icing somebody out, okay? Um, and maybe that's, you have to leave somebody out in the cold here and it's breaking your heart or giving you a lot of anxiety or stress. Or somebody did this and they are like really not sleeping because of it. Like they're really up at night and nine of swords is nine of swords. I mean, this, this is depression. This is anxiety, negativity, nightmares, despair and fear over some kind of loss, regret, bereavement, disappointment. So if this isn't you, this is somebody in your energy, either the king of cups or the king of pentacles. Or if not, you know, it could be somebody else, all right? This could be somebody new that you're walking into. It's usually new coming energy in with these kings, but you never know, right? It could be different for everybody. You'll know this. You could be, you could be this king of cups, male or female, full of love and, you know, concentrating on your bag, financially stable, hardworking, and dependable, all right? These are the two best kings in the, in the bunch, you know? And I'm a fire sign, so I could say that. But, um, yeah. So there you go. Show me one more. Anyway, here you go. You're going to take a new leap of faith. That's good. Aries, you're ending on your own energy, which you don't know and you don't see coming. There could be some kind of, oh God, you got five of swords. There could be some kind of somebody wanting to win at all costs here. But, you know, they could be hiding the fact that they are very, um, with the five of swords, they are hostile. Okay. They want to cause conflict, tension, and dispute. Maybe because they see you happy taking this new leap of faith with this beautiful energy over here. Maybe you left them out in the cold. Or maybe, for some of you, up oh, there it goes. They left you out in the cold, and now they're sorry because they see you taking this new leap of faith, this new opportunity. And so there we go with Eminem again. Temper your emotions, okay? Don't lose your cool. Don't let anybody drag you down to any low vibrational bullshit, Aries. This is about balance, peace, patience, and inner calm, tranquility, and maybe even a soulmate, okay? And uh, be strong here. Leo energy. Have self-confidence. Because you got this new beginning, and we like it for you, Aries. We do. Now, let's get some kippers. By the way, thank you. Please hit that like and subscribe. It's fun. It's free. It's the right thing to do. All right? Spike Lee even says so. And uh, it'll make you feel good. Plus, you're expending good energy out towards me, which I'm very grateful for. Delilah is very grateful for. And whether or not you hit it, excuse me. <coughs> 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 Confirmation. It's the freaking incense. I got to stop with them. 
Anyway, whether or not you hit the buttons, this is how we roll over here in Brooklyn, New York. We are sending you health, wealth, love, abundance, tenfold prosperity to infinity and beyond, right? It's unconditional around here. Show me. Kippers. Kippers for Aries. Aries, Aries. Ah, my nose is itching, Aries, all of a sudden, like out of nowhere. I thought it was the incense, but it might just be you guys, right? Okay, here we go. I'm going to take it. So, somebody's thinking about somebody here. They are sick to death. This is why they're in a five of pentacles and a nine of swords. Because, they, you know, somebody's got somebody up on their mind. Somebody could be some kind of an artist, a graphic artist, an architect, something like this. The letters W, the letters M. Somebody's got somebody on their mind. Now, they might they might be thinking about sending somebody a message. 7-7, seven, seven, okay? Some of you might be getting some kind of message. Or if you're the one thinking about sending a message out, well, whoops, there it is, okay? This could be an actual letter that somebody's writing to somebody. Don't go stand by your mailbox like a crackpot. Maybe it's a text. Whatever it is, somebody's getting a message. You got 39 or 12. There's somebody that's in a community. Could be any kind of a community, all right, of like-minded individuals. For example, right now, you're in the tarot community. So it could be anything, okay? I'm seeing an outback steakhouse. I'm seeing big hanging plants with purple and red flowers. Somebody could be in some kind of poverty right now. 37 or 10. Somebody could be 73, actually. Somebody could be 61. Somebody could be 39 or 34. Somebody's working hard at their occupation. Whatever they're doing, they're working hard. Their head is down. They're not even really taking care of themselves. They're... I'm hearing wash, rinse, repeat, wash, rinse, repeat. Whatever they're doing, it's some kind of a skill that not everybody knows how to do, Aries, because how many people, how many of you out there really know how to take a soul machine and sew something together without it coming out looking like a freaking potato sack, right? So there you go. 34 or 7. Again, 777 seven, seven could be of significance. 777 seven, seven is attracting abundance. Spirit wants you to have that binaural beat too. 777. Seven, seven. Go listen to that one, attract the abundance. You got a family room, 21 or 3. Somebody could be 34 or 37 here. I got 37 twice. Here you go. Um, this is a family room with no freaking family in it, Aries. Where's the family, I ask you, huh? So this could be somebody that's lonely. Maybe they or the family left already. They live alone. They got a couple of plants and they got the tea set ready in case anybody shows up. But it doesn't look like they're going to. This living room needs a makeover. Somebody's living room needs some kind of a makeover here. So this is a lonely-ass person. Um, 21 or 3. Yeah. Uh, you know, uh, the, the, where's the family? That's so. The, this is, you know, where I come from, this is not a family room. You need blankets all over the floor and pillows. You need a game system. You need a TV. You need a mess. You need pets and people and the whole thing, right? Snacks, movies, I mean, you name it. And more places to sit than that, man. My God. My God. Anything else, Kipper? All right, we're done with the Kippers. At the bottom of the Kipper, there is a privileged lady here, number 12 or 3. Now, what are we getting? Are we getting you positive affirmations. We're doing these positive affirmations for the next couple of weeks because Spirit told me you guys need them. I want you all to go in the mirror and tell yourself how freaking wonderful you are, okay? Lift yourself up. Do positive mirror magic. Tell yourself how good looking you are. Tell yourself how well you've done, how far you've come on your journey. We are proud of you here. We love you. And you're the best thing since uh, sliced bread. So there you go, Aries. All right? Give me a positive affirmation for Aries. Today I am loved. You certainly are, especially by us. Today I will know in my heart that I deserve love and respect. So Aries, thank you so much. Always remember, lead with logic and integrity. Act with kindness and love. Let things go. Fear is your enemy and trust in God because karma is real. Until next time, love and light.